Hey guys, we're back with the next tall tale, The Sunken Pearl. It's the second tall tale of the A Pirate's Life update. We also like to warn you, this tale can be annoying because other people who also started the tale will be in the same session. Some people will kill you, some would like to work together. We ain't sure if it's supposed to be like this or if it's just a bug. It was also hard for us to clip it and make a guide, but here we are. Like all the tall tales, you can start it at the castaway, who you can find on any outpost. To start this tale, you need to vote on the second tale next to the shell. When she starts a story, you'll receive a tall tale book with notes. These notes give you hints where you need to start looking. As you can see, you need to sail further than Old Salt's Atoll. You'll also notice a beam in the sky where you need to go to. When you reach the beam, you need to jump into the water and follow the pieces of the shipwreck until you reach the black pearl at the bottom of the ocean. While you're diving, you'll notice some things that are producing bubbles. When you swim over them, you'll get a bubble around you so you won't drown. Handy! Once you reach the Black Pearl, you'll see the captain's cabin is closed and you need the key to open it. This key can be found when you dive down the stairs. You'll see a crate that you first need to move. If you swim through the ship, you can find the key of the Black Pearl at this sea creature. Once you collected it, you can go back to the captain's cabin. If you open the door, you'll find Jack's compass at the table which will show you what way you need to go. If you pick it up, you can follow it to the cave. When you get out of the water, you'll see a pink flower. If you shoot or slash it, you'll be able to go to the next passage. Then you need to follow the compass that will lead you to a big statue of a siren with three smaller siren statues. Enemies will spawn that you need to defeat. When they're all finished, one of them will drop a siren's heart. Some sort of gem that you need to put in one of the siren statues. You need to put their arms in the same position as they are shown on the drawing on the wall. You can see which one is which by what they're holding. One of them is holding a gem, another one a chain and the other one a plant. You can change the position of their arm by shooting them. Once they're all in the right position, you need to shoot the big statue with a horn. Then it will blow its horn. Now the water will get higher so you can swim up to the next part. But before you do that, don't forget to collect the first journal. You can find it on the floor hidden behind wooden planks. Once you collected it, swim up higher. There you will notice another painting of the sirens. And yes, you'll need to put the arms again into the same position. If you did that, shoot the siren with the horn. Then when you swim back up, you'll see a geyser that's activated. Jump on it and you'll get to the next part of the room. When you're here, enemies will spawn again. Like before, you'll need to kill them. One of them will drop a siren heart again. Now when you look around, you can see three siren statues again. Put the siren's heart in one of them. And now you need to put the arms in the same position again like they are on that painting. One of the siren statues is hidden a little on top of that rock. Once they're all in the right position, shoot the siren with the horn again and the room will fill up with water. But before you leave this room, don't forget to look for the second journal. You can find it in a cave on this rock right above the statue that was hidden. Now if you collected this journal, you can swim back up. There you will see some part of a big skeleton you can walk on. Follow the path until the pink flower you need to shoot again and to go to the next part. When you enter it, the Siren Queen starts to tell a story. After that, the portals will open. 
When you enter it, you'll start to battle with the sirens. When you're fighting them, you'll have to keep in mind that you need to swim over the bubbles once in a while. Otherwise, you'll drown. There are also food crates to find and an ammo box. And of course, you'll finally be able to use the new weapon. The Trident of Dark Tides. They're very effective to use against these sirens. So when you fought all the sirens, the last one will drop a siren heart. Don't forget to pick it up and go to the big gate with the 5 gems on it. It has a siren's queen head on it. Right of it, you'll see a siren statue. That's where you need to put the siren's heart in. The arms of the two sirens need to have the same position as the ones on the drawing on the gate. When this is done, you have to shoot the statue on top with the horn. Then the gate will open. When you enter the room, you can find the third journal at the shipwreck on the right. Then you need to swim through the tunnel to the left until you reach the next pink flower. Shoot it again and you can enter the next room. The Siren Queen will tell a story. In this room you need to solve another mermaid puzzle. Again, you need to put the arms of the siren statues in the same position like it says in the drawing on the rock. Then you shoot the one who is holding the horn. You can find it when you swim to the surface like this and that's how you can shoot it. When you shot it, the water will flow away. Then enemies will spawn. When you kill them, you can continue. But don't forget to collect the fourth journal first before you open the big gate with the pulley. When you stand in front of the gate, you need to go to the right and jump here into the water. There you can find the fourth journal on the shipwreck. Make sure to read it, because if you forget, there's not a way to go back to this room. Now you got it, go back to the gate and use a pulley to open it. When you enter this room, you need to use a pulley to bring the shipwreck down. Then you have to run quickly to it and jump on it. That way it will lift you to the next level. Then you jump to this side and go to the shipwreck. Now you're there, don't forget to collect the fifth and last journal. You can find it in the shipwreck on this crate. After that, you need to go back up on the shipwreck at this side. You jump back on the shipwreck and follow the path on the right that will lead you to a cave where you will find three siren statues again. It's the same principle like the others. Put the arms of the three siren statues in the same position like the ones on the painting. Then you have to go back on top of the shipwreck. Now when you look to the right, you can see the big siren statue with the horn. We have to shoot it again. Now the place will get filled with water so you can climb the ladder that will lead you to the platform. Where you can use a pulley which will raise another platform so you can reach the other side. On the other side, you need to go to the right side and enter the room with the head on top of it. You actually have to enter it through its mouth. There you can find the silver blade key. With this key, you'll be able to find the chest of everlasting sorrow. Collect it and go back to the platform with the pulley to go back to the other side. Then follow the path on the right. Again, you'll see a pink flower which you need to shoot to enter the next room. The Siren Queen will continue her story. Then climb your way up to the shipwreck and when you get on it, the enemies will appear and start shooting you. Shoot them down with the cannons. When they're gone, you can open this door of the cabin and you can collect the chest of everlasting sorrow. Now you need to raise the anchor so it will bring you to the next wave of enemies. Defeat them too. You can use the cannonballs again or you can also shoot them with your weapon. Normally you can find cannonballs and food on the shipwreck if needed. But we had the bad luck that it was barked or a little so we couldn't get any. After this the kraken will appear that will attack the ship. You need to shoot the kraken in the face. 
there will also appear ocean crawlers on the ship which you need to kill. When you defeated the Kraken, you need to pick up the chest of everlasting sorrow. Now climb the mast and follow the path up. Once there, you have to jump into the water and enter the next room. Put the chest of everlasting sorrow in front of the big gate so the gate will open. When you enter the room, you can see 5 writings on the walls which you need to inspect to unlock one of the commendations. Leave the room again and go to the right. Shoot the pink flower and enter the next room. This is a place where you need to fight the Siren Queen. You can find the Trident of Dark Tides again that is really useful during this fight. Another good tip is that you can swim to the surface to catch your breath again so you won't drown. When you defeated her, you can jump through the portal in the middle of the place. When you're there, you can see trick three big mermaid statues. When you shoot them, some of the crew of the Black Pearl will appear and continue the tale. There you need to return Jack's compass. And then you've completed the second tall tale. When you leave the tale, you can return to your ship by the mermaid statue or you can swim back if you collected the chest of everlasting sorrow and sell it on an outpost. You'll get 6k for it. If you completed the tale, you'll get all these commendations. So this was our guide through the Sunken Pearl tale. We hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Shiver me timbers. Yarr. Nasty scary.